Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today we're at the PTI farm and I'm in one of our soybean trials that we're working on. And this is an interesting study and I thought this would make a pretty good session here today. It was talking about some different soybeans, maybe different soybeans than maybe you haven't seen really before. Now, I've got two different varieties of beans out here and one of them is, it's a later bean. It's a, it's a three nine maturity bean, which is a little later than what we're used to planting, but we got in super early this year. We were out planting these beans the first week of April. We're about three to four weeks ahead of what, what normal planting is uh, this year here at the farm with a lot of our beans. But this is kind of a typical soybean plant of what we're seeing in this particular trial right, right now. Now, when you look at grow staging the, the, these beans, we do, typically do it by trifoliate. And when I pull one of these petioles off, you'll see these trifoliates where we have three leaves per trifoliate. That's kind of why they call it a trifoliate, right? But the interesting thing with, with beans is we're, we're trying to figure out, can we kind of change the architecture with these beans by adjusting seeding rate? In other words, how thick do we plant them? And so if we drop seeding rates down, can we get the general architecture of this bean plant to change? And what we'd like it to do as far as changing was, would, would be to kind of branch out a little bit more to try to get more nodes when we put it in a lower seeding rate. Now. The thing is, we're still stuck with the same amount of leaves though, per petiole, per node, we're still stuck with these three leaves. This is called a multifoliate soybean. And so I just showed you off this variety over here where we've got three leaves on the trifoliate. I want you to look at the leaves on this trifoliate. We're doubling the amount of leaves. We're actually, we have six leaflets here on this trifoliate. And so why in the world do we want to increase the number of leaves per node or per trifoliate? Well, it's all about sunlight interception. These soybeans have to take sunlight to create energy, to create sugars, to basically go to yield. And so what we're trying to do now with a multifoliate soybean is still concentrate on seeding rates, okay, and seeing if we can change the leaf architecture, okay, the, the amount of nodes, the amount of clusters of pods, but now we're concentrating on how are we going to feed them? How many leaves do we have to get this job done? If you look at the top 10 results from the overall farm, seeding rate actually made the top 10 with over $60 difference just in seeding rate alone. I'm a firm believer that we don't have to overpopulate beans unless we have severe weed issues out in the field. So if we look at last year's information, just looking at seeding rate and just looking at yield, this variety of soybeans that we're showing you data on gave us the highest yield at 125,000 seeds per acre. And this is in a 30 inch row. Now, I gotta pay for the cost of seed. Let's look at the economics of this. And it would show us that 100,000 populations made us the most money on a per acre basis. I wanna take that information that we've got, those seeding rates, and now I wanna introduce the multifoliate beans and start looking at this data that way. So we're hoping we can continue to drive yields you know, we're building a, a bigger plant. We've got more leaves, more canopy, maybe a quicker canopy in the growing season. Keep these weeds out, but get all kinds of sunlight interception and help drive soybean yield. So I'm gonna kind of leave it in limbo a little bit for this, this Inside PTI session. I'm not gonna give all the, all the information away of what kind of bean this is. I want you to come to the farm this summer. I want you to come visit us at the PTI farm. You can go to our website, at precisionplanning.com, go to events and you can see all the sessions we have available and you can come out and see some of these trials just like this one at the farm. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about, feel free to contact your Precision Planning Premier Dealer or send us an email at InsidePTI at precisionplanning.com. And remember, we'll see you this summer at our PTI field days throughout July, August, and September. Thanks for watching.